Welcome back guys, Bothering Waves is now playable on Linux platform. Game was released on Steam Store recently. Games developers did mention about improving the game's Linux compatibility. In this video I'll be showing you how to get the game working on Bazaar OS running on my ROG LA. It's very important to use G Proton 10-7 as the compatibility layer or anything newer than that. I'll show you where to download G Proton. We'll be downloading it using Proton of QT app. You can download this app for free from this cover store. Now just click on add version. From this drop down bar under compatibility tool you need to select G Proton. From the drop down bar under version select the latest version of G Proton. It's 10-7 at the time of recording this video. Then click on install. I have already installed it. Go back to Wuthering Waves. Select the game in your Steam library. Click on settings cog here. Click on properties. Click on compatibility. From this drop down bar, select G Proton version 10 7. If it's not showing up here, restart Steam. Now it's very important to use a launch argument on Bazaar. Click on general. Under launch options, add this line of text Steam OS equal to 1 space percentage command percentage. You can also use the launch argument Steam Deck equal to 1 space percentage command percentage makes the game think that we are running it on Steam OS. Version 2.4 is already running on Steam Deck LCD variant out of the box. For the first launch it's very important to run the game in desktop mode. Do not run the game in gaming mode otherwise you'll get stuck at startup. You'll just see a black screen. We need to go through some game prompts. It will take around 4 to 5 minutes for the game to launch. Tap on play. Finally start it. Agreement will pop up. Click on agree. Black screen. Yeah, credits are rolling. We are in. Update is getting downloaded. Shaders will get compiled after this. This window is going to pop up. Close it. It's very important to run the game in desktop mode first, not in gaming mode. Otherwise, you'll miss this window. You'll only see a black screen. Patching complete. Need to restart the game. Shaders are getting compiled. They help in reducing stuttering. Wait for the process to complete. Sign to your Kuro Games account. Just entered my credentials. Confirm and proceed. I am from India. We will be using their SEA based servers. There is a character. Now I will exit the game. Switch to gaming mode. System info for Bazaar OS that I am running on ROG LI. OS build stable. My LI is running on BIOS version 3.4.1. I have set the UMA buffer size to 4 GB. Video driver RADV 25.1.4. Show you the handheld daemon settings. Double press the army create button. Didn't open up my bad. Advanced setting. Using a 20 sand watts TDP. TDP boost disable. Very aggressive hand curve. CPU settings. CPU power set to low, CPU boost disable, GPU frequency set to auto. Connected my cosmic batch to Lyris gamepad to add a via Bluetooth mode, X input controller. Some files are getting validated. G Proton version 10 7 as the compatibility layer. Wait for the validation process to complete. Play. Yeah, we are in. Performance key on settings. Only level set to 3, frame limit 120 VRI enable. Signed in automatically. Jump into the game. End game settings. First, I'll run the game on medium preset resolution, full HD. Frame rate 60. Can't go higher than this. Vsync off. FSR on. Effects enable. Motion blur blue. Disable. Pretty sure even with these settings, game will hit the GPU bottleneck on ROG LA. Happens on Windows as well. Not the most optimized PC title out there. Current location, city of Jinjiao. I'll traverse the area on foot. Even on the FPS counter. Here yeah, FPS is very variable. 45 to 50. Drop down to 40 there. Not hitting the GPU bottleneck as expected, GPU load is close to 70%. Unfortunately, we cannot utilize these free GPU resources by using a frame generation technique like LSFG or AFML. They are not compatible with Linux. 
I use them on Windows. This game always stutters when we use a grappling hook or fly around the environment. I'll just use my hook, keep it on the FPS counter. Yeah, FPS drop from 45 to 35. Drop down from 45 to 30. This is so disappointing. See? Not impressed with the game's optimization. I'll just increase the settings to high. Drop the resolution to 900p. Image quality should still look sharp. LS display small in size, extend 7 inches diagonally. Set screen mode to windowed. Drop the resolution to 900p. I'll just set everything to high. Effects enabled. There you go. Back to the game. Yeah, GP load is around. 72% FPS is variable 36 to 45 I'll use my hook game is going to stutter yeah test the game in another area show you some combat Richie village changing the setting is not going to help in improving the performance and I won't be able to maintain a steady 60 FPS in this game it's very disappointing same thing happens on windows but on windows you can use a frame generation technique to boost the performance which is not possible on linux at least for the time being i'll use my abilities looking for some npcs small fries yeah here fps is close to 40 creature switch my character Yeah, 40 to 45 FPS. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.